Hi, this is Mrs. Bukoskis in the library, and I wanted to talk to you um, about how I'm grading your assignments. So I'm going to do um, the rubric right now on the image citations. So let me go to my rubrics. Just so that you know how I'm grading it, You, when you go to hand in, oh, let me go back, let me show you, in case you don't know this, how you can find it. Uh, when you go to image citations, there's a rubric attached to this already. You click through here, Let's, we'll do it here, and you can take a look. Okay, so you're like, wait a minute, you won't see all these descriptions in there um, because this is my copy. So basically, I'm grading citations one and two together, citations three and four together, citations five and six together, because it gave me, I can only have 10, uh, 10 rows. So basically, I'm looking for, um, close to perfection, um, makes acceptable. Missing components gets uh, eight points, few missing components gets eight points, several missing components get six points, many missing components gets um, four points, and missing citations. So if you're short 20, 20 images, you're gonna get a zero for, uh, you could get a zero for that. So let me tell you the other things. So the components include, um, whether or not you've got an author, if there is one, if you've got the title italicized, you've got to have the um, your year, your location, your database name, and the database name needs to be italicized. If it's a website, it has to have a URL. But beyond that, let me tell you what else goes into that rubric. You need to have had 20 slides. Six of them need to be from BCE, which is stated in the rubric. So by the time I'm grading yours, if you haven't gotten um, by, if you haven't gotten to what's it called, um, oopsie, some BCE pictures, uh, the last couple citations, I will reduce your grade. Even if the citation's correct, I will reduce it because you didn't fulfill the, the rubric requirement, which is at least six images from BCE. So you will see that grade reflected in these last three. Oopsie, it should be these last three. You can't, I think it's down a little further. You can't quite see it. Oopsie. Sorry. The screencasting's getting in the way. It's right underneath here. Okay. So you will see that reflect in your grade. Um, the other thing that is part of the component is, I think I told you this in the other video. I, uh, in the other video, I show you how I want you to put this into your slide. I also want this linked because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out follow this link and verify your sources. That's what a citation's for. If you don't link your link out, you're going to lose points. If you don't link your link out on all 20 slides, you're going to lose points on all 20 slides because part of the requirement is, can I find your sources? That's what a citation's for. So make sure you've what if you haven't already done so, there's this um, little video, how and where to place your site image citations. And uh, I tell you that how I want them done. And then you'll see how I grade it in the image citations rubric, which is right there. Okay. Um, all righty. When you see, you will actually see this in your grade book on not power school learning, but on high, um, power school. Yeah. On power school learning not power school. So um, you might see this pop up because I grade this separately from Miss Dent. All righty. Let me know if you have any questions.